This is the Paxman Model 20 Centenary. It's a yellow brass lacquered Paxman 20M with a nickel silver screw ring, specially engraved valve caps, and an included Paxman branded Marcus Bona case. That's it. Thanks for watching. Okay, never mind. There is more to this horn than just a little extra bling. I have to start off by saying I am biased towards Paxman. I played an unlacquered yellow brass Paxman 25L with titanium rotors for eight years. That's the longest amount of time I've ever had with a single horn. Sadly, one day I convinced myself that I needed to sell it to solve some low register issues that were plaguing me. Really, those issues just needed better practice and a new approach. And I many times regret selling that horn. It was really, really good. I do still have a Paxman 40M as my personal desk cant horn. And I believe that is the best desk cant horn that can be obtained. And I will fight you on that. I, everyone has their own opinion, but I love my Paxman 40M. But back to the Paxman Centenary. The main thing that sets the Centenary apart from a standard Paxman 20M is the German source hand hammered bell flare. Now you might think it's just a bell flare, it's not that big of a thing, but I believe that the bell flare really takes this horn to a new level. It makes the horn more responsive and gives it a more ringing and resonant sound. And frankly, in my opinion, it just makes it easier to, to play when compared to a stock Model 20. Although this horn seems expensive at first glance, being over $10,000, it does include the hand hammered bell flare and the Marcus Bona case that I mentioned earlier. And when you take that into account, it's actually a great value compared to other premium horns. If you'd like to see more horn reviews, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time.